everyone, it's Jenna from McGuire. Today I have a super fun technique for you that combines glitter along with stencils. Stencils are super popular right now and I think this is a great way to get more from it. I got the idea for this technique from my friend Heidi. I think she learned something similar in a Dreamweavers class, but I found that uh, some tricks that I think were really helpful in making the technique work just by playing around with it and I thought I'd share it with you. So we're going to create the super smooth background that's all made of glitter and I'll use it to make two cards including this one with the big background and then also the heart that I die cut out of the center for the second one I love making two cards at once it just saves a lot of time to create the background I'm using some be creative double-sided tape it comes in full-size sheets but I cut one down to four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm going to stick it onto some white cardstock now you'll see I took off that brown release paper on one side and set it aside I'm going to use that in a little bit now I have this piece that I've stuck onto the white cardstock and I'm going to rub it on there really good with my bone folder. You can use your hand if you want to. Then I'll remo remove this side of the release paper so that the adhesive is showing and it's, I'm just going to set this aside so it's ready to go. Now I have my stencil that I'm going to use here and I'm going to ink up one side of it with Versamark ink. I just have it on a piece of scrap paper under there so I don't get my surface sticky. Now this Versamark ink is going to act as a resist when I put it onto the adhesive so that the stencil doesn't stick permanently to the adhesive. I just want it temporarily. So I'm putting the Versamark ink side down onto that double sided tape and that Versamark again will kind of resist so it'll allow it to stick a little bit but not a ton. I really found that that Versamark helped a lot with this technique. Now this is the release paper that I took off from before. Remember the adhesive doesn't really want to stick to this. So what I'm doing is I lay this down over the stencil so I can rub the stencil on without getting my bone folder stuck in all of that adhesive that's showing through the stencil. So this is a great trick. You could just use your finger for this too. Basically, I'm just making sure that the adhesive or that the stencil stuck into the adhesive pretty good so that the glitter doesn't get through it. I also found it was helpful to take a little bit of washi tape and tape the corners to the paper because if the corners start to peel up, some of the glitter will get behind the stencil there too. So this first mark really helps in keeping the uh, stencil from permanently sticking to the adhesive and just making it so it's temporarily stuck there. I found that this double sided tape really holds glitter quite well and you don't have it falling off everywhere. So now it's time to apply our first color of glitter. I'm using Glitter Ritz. This is a great super 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 fine glitter and I'm using this teal color first so I'm going to just go ahead and shake it on. What I do with this is I put it kind of at the top, I tilt my paper and I just let it kind of waterfall over the whole stencil. So basically all that adhesive that's showing through the stencil will hold on to the glitter that I add. Now this glitter is super fine and once we put it on and rub it real good it won't come off like in your envelope when you send this card. So I'm just going to tap off some of the extra glitter, put the rest away back into the bottle. And then I want to be really sure that that glitter is stuck into the adhesive. So what I'm going to do is take that release paper again and use my bone folder to press that glitter into all the adhesive that is showing. So I'm just kind of pushing it in there. And by doing the release paper in between, I'm not messing up my stencil, bending it up. And I'm making sure that I'm really taking care of this surface that we're creating. Now I would take a dry cloth here and just rub off any of the extra glitter that's on your stencil so that when you take the stencil off it doesn't get it into the areas you don't want it. So just use a dry cloth and there you have kind of cleaned off and ready to go for the next layer of glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this off carefully. Now the stencil when you're done I just ran it under water and cleaned it up real good and I had no problems getting it perfectly clean. So now I'm just going to carefully pull off the stencil that Versamark keeps it from being stuck too much and there we have the adhesive showing for the next color of glitter. For the next color I'm using my favorite of all the glitter writs. This is the Stardust. It's kind of like a vintage silver. It's not too bright. Kind of has a, a muted color to it. It's just beautiful. Again I'm going to let it waterfall over all the adhesive and you'll see that once we tap this off anywhere there was blue glitter before will just is already you know it's already there so it's not going to stick to that area anymore and the silver just fills in all that area that was open. Now I'm going to take my bone folder and this, it, this glitter, when you press it on to this sticky tape really good, you'll see it gets a velvety finish and it's stuck there for good. It won't rub off. So I'm just going to use my bone folder to smooth it out really well. And then when I'm done, I found that it's really helpful to take a baby wipe and wipe off the whole surface really good just to get off any of the extra glitter that may be um, still kind of laying around. And this prevents it from making a mess later on. So there we have a nice smooth and kind of velvety glitter look for the background. You could use other glitters for this. I just think this glitter is fantastic. 
So now I'm just going to use my paper trimmer to trim this down and make sure it's nice and centered. I wanted this, this stencil. I used a stencil that had like a center to the pattern. So I want to make sure that's nice and centered on my card. I could see creating lots of stenciled glittered backgrounds like this and die cutting lots of shapes out of it. So for the first card, I wanted to have a die cut window with a greeting kind of um, standing across it, kind of floating across it. So I got, went ahead and die cut a heart from the center. This heart die is from My Favorite Things. And by the way, the stencil that I use is also from My Favorite Things. So I've gone ahead and put the heart die right onto the glitter paper. And I'm running it through my Big Shot just as I would if I were die cutting a regular piece of paper. It works out well that this, this glitter paper that we've created die cuts really well. So now I actually have two pieces to make two cards. We've got the negative space and also the positive space. For the first card, I, like I said, I wanted to have this little die cut greeting kind of float across the heart, but I didn't want to try to put little foam dots underneath that delicate die cut. So what I decided to do was stack up a bunch of the Hello die cuts, glue them all together, and that would hold the one floating across the heart. So first I went through and die cut six of these little Hello die cuts, this is from Paper Smooches, from white cardstock. Now after I had six of these little delicate Hello die cuts done, I'm going to go ahead and glue them together, one on top of each other, just using a glue pen. This really doesn't take long because after you've got a couple of them glued together, it's nice and sturdy so they kind of all go on top of each other like a puzzle very quickly. In this way I don't have to worry about cutting little foam dots behind these tiny little letters and seeing it from the outside. So now that I have that layered die cut ready, I'm just going to set it aside and create my card so that I have that heart window to go across. So I'm using some foam tape here to adhere the glitter paper onto the note card. Now you can use any kind of foam adhesive here. I'm using a lot because I want this to sit nice and flat. And then I'll just add this onto a white note card that I made um, with a fold on the top. Now it's time to make that die cut look like it floats across it. So I'm going to take the layered die cut that we have with the six layers of white and I'm going to tuck it behind the heart window. After I have it in place, I'm going to go ahead and put some glossy accents under parts of the little letters. Just lift it up a little bit. A little glossy accent will really hold this very well. By putting the adhesive on afterwards, then I don't make a mess when I shift the die cut around in the heart to make sure that I like the placement. So now that I let this dry a little bit and it'll stay secure. To put the glitter on this die cut is really easy to do and I'm going to show you a couple ways to do it and you can pick which one might work best for you. So I'm using the same double sided tape that I used earlier, putting on some white cardstock and then I'll take that same die and run it through my die cut machine just as I would with regular cardstock. After popping out the die carefully, you can use a craft knife to help pop it out if you need to. I'm going to go ahead and remove the release paper that's still on it and this will reveal the sticky side on top of the die cut. Again I'm using Glitter Ritz Glitter to shake on here. I'm using a darker color of silver this time. If you don't have a lot of colors you could get the basic clear or you could get the silver and then color it with Copic markers or any kind of permanent color if you wanted to. So I've got this glitter on here. Again I want to rub it into the sticky paper really really well. So I'm using my bone folder and it ends up giving it that velvet finish that I like so much. Now this is one way to do these little die cuts. I'm going to show you another one that's actually easier after I've created all these cards. So to make sure that this die cut that I created stays on top of the other little die cuts very well, I'm going to use some glossy accents and I'll just position it here and now it looks like that die cut with the glitter on it is kind of floating across that open heart. It's just a fun technique to do. You could skip this and just glue it all flat down onto the card if you wanted to. And there you can see lots of glitter and lots of shine. Again, you can try this with other types of glitter. I know the Ranger glitter is awfully nice too. So now that we've wrapped up the first card, the second card was very easy to do. I just took the leftover heart and added it to a white note card with some foam adhesive. Now for the thanks that you see there, that thanks die is actually sold in the set with the hello die that we used earlier from Paper Smooches. So I die cut six of those from white cardstock and then I just layered them all on top of each other and I decided not to add a glitter to the top of it just so that it stands out and it was very simple. So this card's very easy and the two together are created no time flat just using one technique. Now before we go I wanted to show you an easier way to put glitter on delicate little die cuts like this. 
Go ahead and die cut some of the double sided tape as I did before, but notice I'm leaving the die cut in its negative space and then taking the release paper just off the die cut area. So now I have the thanks with the adhesive showing, this, it's nice and sticky, and now I'm going to add the glitter onto it. Now what's great about this is by keeping the negative space around the die cut, it's much easier to take my bone folder and rub this glitter into the double sided tape. Before it was kind of hard to hold that delicate die and rub it without hurting the die cut. This way that negative space kind of holds it in place. I can rub off the extra glitter really easy and now I can pop the die cut out of its negative space. This is just something that's easier to do and a trick that I wanted to show you. I didn't think of it earlier when I was creating the card. But I think this is something that I will definitely do in the future. So there you have a fun way of combining glitter with stencils. I hope this inspires you to try combining the two together and create lots of great backgrounds. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.